How's it going, everyone? I'm Nostalgic Dave, and welcome back to the Chizo Mythos series. Hold on. That needs to be a bit quieter. Am I looking at the same one that this is? Nope. I've got two of these open for some reason. up. There we go. Okay. Boop. Now we're looking at the same one. Let's see. Final game of the Chizou Mythos series. No, no commentary. Let's start. Yesterday, I saw the body of the bridge keeper engulfed in flame. Tomorrow I saw the soul of the bridge keeper reduced to ash, and I saw the bridge created by two thirds. Today the mind of the bridge keeper shall meet with its destiny, and I shall see the bridge extend between the realms. And the many children of the king shall leap and dance and sing praise in his name, for the great is his wisdom and his benevolence. The Book of the Bridge. I should have done this the moment you came into this world, demon child. Who's talking? Okay! Oh god. It's a good thing I played this on last. Why did you kill me, brother? I helped you when you were injured. I bandaged you when our father made his mistake. No mistake, young one. Now do you see why I tried to keep you away from this creature? It has no understanding of human ways. You're wrong, father. If you'd have even given him a chance to be normal. Cease your prattling, Matthew. It's time to put an end to the horror I unleashed. What are you doing, father? Father, no! Father! Father! Ah, uh, okay. For those of you who haven't seen uh, me play either of these two games, this is... Five Days of Stranger and Seven Days of Skeptic. All links to both of those in the description below. And... All of a sudden there's silence? Why? Why did things go silent? I hope this is normal. Hundred and ninety six lit years later and earlier. Wow. It's the dead on midpoint. Left click to walk, right click on hotspots to open menu. Again, who walks this loud? I wanna take the paper. It's turned off and probably passed with my oh. No the paper. Oh. Take something from the reception desk, because why not? There's nothing on the other side of the desk. Almost as if it's been cleared out. That's not off-putting at all. Can I have the magazine? I'm not the right... I'm not the right demographic. Okay, fine. Let's just get going, then. I don't see any call buttons. Probably scans automatically for security clearance. Why am I here? Sit on the sofa, I guess. I hate sitting on leather sofas. Well, gee! The material feels horrible under my body. Um... Talk to the elevator then, I guess. I don't know. It won't reply. I kind of figured that one. We learned that they don't really do so. I don't think so. Well, what the frick do you want me to converse? It won't reply. Ah! I don't think so. 
I'm literally choosing every single option because I have no idea. To, uh, it's the elevator to the upper floor. I kind of figured that. Can we just leave? Why did I come here? I can't leave until I've spoken with one of Miss... I, the one... Named, Mr. Garrett! It's cell phone on a computer because to the hell with it. I don't think so. Okay, fine. Use the cell phone. No? Bruh, I don't know what to do. I don't think so. <laughs> it's 11 o'clock. Session desk. There's nothing on the other side. Blah, blah, blah. It won't reply. I don't think so. Call. No. Computer. Look. It's the receptionist terminal, probably used to check on appointments and communicate with other parts of the building. Why is no one in the room, by the way? It's turned off and probably passed with. Okay. Talk to the computer. Journal. Ugh. Cell phone. No. Plant, because why not? Look at the plant. The climate controlled environment in here really seems to be making it flourish. Oh, yeah, totally. Grab the plant, pull it out, because who, ca who cares? There aren't even any cigarette butts in the soil. That's probably a good thing. Talk to the plant! Won't reply. Okay. Journalize the plant. Because why not uh, call the plant? Call the door. I don't think so. Okay. Look at the door. That's the way I came in. The way back to the car park. Open the door. I can't leave until I've spoken with one Mr. Gar Garriott. Talk to the door. Won't reply. Write about the door. Call a flippin' door! There's literally nothing to do around here. I've interacted with all except this. Okay, magazine. It's a woman's magazine. Put here to help visitors pass the time, I guess. Read the magazine. I'm not the right to. Oh, for the love of Pete, dude. Become the right demographic! Talk to it. No, it won't reply. Journalize, I guess. I don't fucking know, man. Call the magazine. Okay. You know what? I've literally interacted with everything. Oh, pamphlet. I didn't see that. Never mind. Some kind of pamphlet on ophthalmology. That's the religion whose headquarters I am currently standing in. I see that by the sign. Or the, this sign. Take the pamphlet. Because I'm an idiot. I'll add it to my journal. Okay, to reread items in your journal, click the journal button in the top menu or right click the journal. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Life becoming a struggle? Need a guiding hand? Want to be a part of the world's fastest growing family? Ophthalmology is a religion catered for you. Taking the best parts of all previous religions to make a great new way of thinking. Join ophthalmology today. Hi! Who are you? Hi. Are you Mr. Garriott? Get out of my way, you fool! Mr. Garriott, I'm from the county council. What? My name's Dekabe. I... okay. About running an inspection of your facility. Oh. Yes, I remember. The council has been informed that you may be extending your premises with, without planning... permission. I just need to take a look around to me. Oh, okay. Is it, is it completely necessary? It's just a precaution, entirely routine. Could you come back another time? Well, actually, no. I have to get this done before the end of the week, and this is my only free time slot. I see. Is that a problem? No, not at all. Well, why don't I 
take you up in the elevator and we can tour the building. I'd be obliged. Bang! Knocks him out. Where's the... Okay! Did he just... Kill me. Day one. July 24th, AD 2189. 2189, okay. I told you I have no idea who he is. Then why should you care? I'm a doctor, for God's sake. Is that Trilly? You don't think... If he was our agent, we would find a way to get him down here without smashing him to pieces. A broken neck is not something I call convenient. Don't think me a fool. He arrives now, of all times, and you insist it's a coincidence? Why else? Ugh. He's awake. Can you hear me? Do you know your name? Can you tell me your name? D Dekabe. Theodore Dekabe. My name's Samantha Hattie. What's happening? How much do you remember? Hey! Stop talking, Tim. I don't want either of you saying another word until my employer gets here. Oh, shut it! This man is seriously injured. He has to be returned to the surface and taken to a properly equipped hospital. Yeah, I will not tell you again. No one leaves, no one breathes. A word until my employer tells me what is to be done. God damn you! Not a word. Never mind, that's not Trilby. Is that like a clone or something? What the frick do I do? Samantha looks at me questioningly. She points at me, then mimes cutting her throat meaningfully. Uh, what does that even mean? Oh, your executor. Oh, God. Um, Samantha shrugs and shakes her head, indicating she doesn't think she can reason with or defeat the man. Point to the door in the north wall. What the hell is behind that? She shrugs. How do you not know? Point to the console. Shakes her head and mouths the word password. Point to the desk. Get away from there. Okay, screw you too. Point to the privacy screen. Samantha shrugs. She has no idea how to activate it. Wonderful. Mouth the word password. Samantha shrugs. She has no idea. Well, the frickin'... I have communicated literally everything. The door. It seems that something has been... So, oh, fuck. It seems that something is banging on the door from the other side. No, that's your voice. It seems that something is banging on the door from the other side. There we go. I'm trying to use different voices here. So that one I just use is technically Trilby's. It's a large cupboard for storing medical supplies and records. Okay. It probably belongs to the chief medical officer. The papers on it seem to be in disarray. The bin. Looks like it's been used to burn documents. Okay. Looks like an official memo. 
The bottom half has been burnt off. I don't think she would want that. What, you don't want to share pics? Share numbers? Get her number, man. You can bang. You can hit it off. <laughs> you talk, converse with her. Psst. Requires a password. Oh my god. Get away from there. I'm oh, sorry. Get away from there. The frick. Hey. Hey. Please. Quiet. You can explain yourself to my employer when he arrives. Who? Is that all you're gonna say? Is that everything you're gonna say? You pointless shit. Wow. You are a demon from another place. You are definitely not Trilby. What's the matter now? This condition may still be degrading. The facilities here are very understocked. Move aside. I'm going to check him. <laughs> Knock him out! Knock him out! Take this slip of paper from his pocket. Wisely. <laughs> oh my god. He doesn't seem to notice. Wow. Wow. I don't see any problems. I put the note. I palm the note to Samantha. I palm the note to Samantha. She glances at it, then nods in understanding and pockets it. What the hell did I just give her. Okay, let's uh, talk to her then. Oh my god, I did not mean to do that. Psst. Samantha looks at me questioningly. One of these has to be it. She points at the privacy screen then at the door. She points at the privacy screen then at the door in the north wall. Okay, so point to the privacy screen. That won't help you. I can't see you, but there's only one way out. Uh, Cavadath! Hi! You! I remember you! Cabinet. Ah! Don't look. What's going on? Don't look. Okay. Looks like we're loose again. Can you walk? Apparent. Just about. It hurts a lot. How much do you remember? Look, I'm just a council inspector. I was sent here to run an inspection on the building. Some lunatic upstairs pushed me down to the elevator shaft, then I wake up here. Could you please explain to me what the hell is going on? So you fell to the very bottom of the shaft. You are now within my, an underground laboratory complex. What do the ophthalmologists need from you? Ophthalmology is a front. A money-making, crowd-pleasing facade to disguise the true organization. Which is a cult. They call themselves the Order of the Blessed Agonies. Bunch of masochist freaks. Okay. Okay. So why do they have a laboratory? Do you mind if I ask? Why were you sent to inspect the building? The, the police told us they received a tip. That the optimo... I mean the cultists were building something. Since they didn't have planning permission... 
I had to see if there were any truth. Well, there's any truth to it. Seems it was. Complex isn't documented. Okay, you know, you know what? Slow down. I have a feeling you're the person she's been waiting for. Who? The other person. The other prisoner. She and I were being held captive down here by one of the cultists. You mean the man who was guarding us? Where did he go, anyway? The man in the hat was just a mercenary. I think hired to guard the place. Our captor is still around somewhere. Janine and I only just escaped from our cell this morning. We were looking for a way out when you arrived. I dragged you in here, and the guard found me. We've got to call the police. No one can do any... Okay, you know what? Something's blocking our communications. But with the three of us against one man, we should be able to negotiate our way out. Janine's supposed to be f finding us. Find out. I apologize for placing a burden on you in your current state, but I have other matters to see to. Do you? Dr. Hartie, what happened? What was behind the door? Why didn't you let me see? Find Janine. Once the cultist is a hostage, I will have time to answer. Okay. Well, I read enough of that to know. Okay. Well. I guess let's get to it. It probably belongs to the chief medical officer. The papers on it seem to be in disarray. Can I take anything? Take the burnt paper, just for no reason. I walk so slow. I'll add it to my journal. Our preparations are complete. Feel free to evacuate yourself and your staff when you have finished burning your records. But make sure Canning and the prisoners remain. Our master will also remain and make his own arrangements. I will evacuate last, when I have given the building and complex a final inspect. Okay. So, I'm assuming don't go behind this door. It's full of medical supplies. I have absolutely no idea how to use. Great! What is this? Uh, yo. Pick up the spectacles. One of the lenses is smashed. The other is curved out of shape. I'll take the intact one and discard the rest. Why? I am so slow. Okay, let's go in this door. What's with the box? Okay, sure. Yeah, we'll, uh... Oh god, I'm slow. What is the lens for? I have not done six days of sacrifice in a very, very long time. Won't open. Something about the monitor, maybe? And this time, I actually don't have a guide next to me. The screen has no controls. Oh, great. Let's leave, then, I guess. Unlike Five Days of Stranger and Seven Days of Se uh, Skeptic, if you, first of all, if you haven't seen me play those, I recommend going and watching those. One open. Maybe a security lock? I don't know, maybe. Oh god, I walk so slowly. Talk to Samantha. Dr. Hardy. Dr. Hardy? Have you gotten the weapons? You must hurry. Oh, oh, that's what I'm supposed to be doing. We do not have long to act. Okay. Okay. Locked room. Bedroom. Hmm. 
Wait, whoa! Wait! Was that... That looks like the woman from Seven Days of Sacrifice. The sec skeptic. Seven Days of Skeptic. Where, wait, where'd you go? What the fu- Wasn't I just here? So I went in a giant circle. Don't. We must have confront him until we- Okay. Get the guns from Janine. I saw Janine though. Where where the hell did she go? The fuck? Uh. Oh! Oh! Hello! Sorry, I thought you were. Who are you? My name is Dakabe. Are you Janine? You're not one of the cultists? No. One of them apparently dropped me down an elevator shaft. How the hell I'm still alive, I have no damn clue. So you had some already? We were being held captive here, and her and me, for quite some time. We were only able to get out of the cell this morning. She mentioned that. She said you were... You would have found... Okay, God damn it. Here. You came from outside? Are they sending someone to help us? I wouldn't know. But they must have gotten my message. We have to take these guns to Dr. Hotty. Maybe then we can get out of here. I'll wait here. Why? Please, just don't make me go out there. I couldn't face seeing him again. Who? The cultist? No. Anyway, you better get going. Wait, who? I'm sorry I couldn't be more help. You did what you could. Alright, Sam. Hi. Air. Ah, excellent. Now we certainly have the upper hand. The cultist is just through this door. All we have to do is secure him in the holding cell, then we can negotiate our release. Would Janine be joining us? No. She said she was too afraid. Afraid? Odd. Well, anyway, we both take a gun. Even a man with two limbs out of commission can fire a gun. You're right. Turn around, slowly, Cannon. No sudden movements. Hottie! So this is how you, your employment ends? With betrayal? Employment? Shut up! If there was any betrayal here, it was when you lunatics locked us up. We had no choice. You refused to listen to reason. I said shut up! I'm taking you to the cell. Stop right there! If you point your gun at me, I will fire. Damn you! Damn you! You never understood, did you, Hearty? There's no point in resisting us. We have God on us. Oh, come on, please. What the hell is going on? Take them to the holding cell. I will... Who? I am the caretaker. I am the guide. They are only unconscious and will awaken soon. Go to the sleeping quarters and seal yourselves in. It is not wise to roam this place at night. But who are you? A friend. Now go. Sam! I'm sorry, Janine. They overpowered us. Oh, God! I can't take much more of this! When are they going to send help? It seems they did. Him? Why don't you tell Janine the same things you told me, Mr. Takabe? I, I'm a council planning inspector. Someone tipped us off that the opti I mean, the cult were building something. They sent me to see if this was true. So you see, Janine, 
Your call was answered. You sent the tip? A council planning inspection. It's almost laughable. But now there's no way we're getting out of here. Yes, there is. We're going to overpower Canning and make him escort us. You tried that and it didn't work. We just have to keep trying. Will you listen? I beg your pardon? I fell down an elevator shaft this morning. I'm tired, I'm in pain, I don't know where I am, and all you've done is boss me around and evade my questions. I want to know who the hell you people are and what the hell is going on. I apologize, Mr. Dakabe, but there was no need to shout. Perhaps there is time to fill you in now. Sorry. Where shall we start? Possible chance for me saving now? What? I guess not. Okay. What is this place? No small laboratory complex under the optimum building. Which, as I have already said, is a front. Yeah, yeah. So, this was already answered. Complex is laid out. We've definitely got something important in there. But neither of us have been inside. Okay, possible chance for me to just... Why the banging? Okay, I guess not. What is the Order of Blessed Agonies? Now, if you guys said... I'm not going to read this, but if you've played the games or have seen play through the games it's a cult that worships this god named Chizo in short Chuzo 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 Okay blah 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 Who was the man and we know the man in red like which man who was the man in red that's a, this is the only one i think i need to ask i've never seen him before not until just now who's this a completely bald man in a torn red robe he helped us get away from canning and the gun i've never seen anyone like that did he come with you come in with you no there was just me falling down the elevator shaft that's all Okay, that's all. Good. So now what? Now we think of a way to... Oh. What? This door's been sealed with a time lock. We won't be able to open it until tomorrow morning. Okay. We could have done that. Coming? I doubt it. The man in red told us not to roam the hallway at night. Presumably he has taken steps to ensure this. We're crying out loud. I have to get home. I have to be back at work tomorrow. We are inconceivable. Okay, whatever. But whining like a child is not going to help. I know, it's just... <sighs> I know. You should take the opportunity... You really should slow the dialogue down. Okay, well that was a fast day one. July 25th, 80, 2189. Okay, so, let's see. Is it this? I actually do not remember how to save on this game. Is it F4? F5, right? Type a name to save as. Okay, yeah, F5. So I'm going to leave this video here. I'll save in a sec. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, push that like button in so far you can't see it anymore. If you really liked it, consider subscribing to the channel. Got any suggestions for me? Let me know in the comments below. If you want to check out any footage that I've done in the past or I'm currently working on now, uh, as far as like horror stuff goes, uh, click the box down over there. Or if you want to check out the rest of the playlist for this game, click the boxes across my head here. In the meantime, I'm out and I'll see you guys later. Bye!